My name is Tom Walsh. I'm the state representative from the 12th Essex District, uh, which is wards one through four in Peabody, and then ward five, precinct one and precinct three. So I represent all Peabody, but not all of Peabody. I was elected in a special election in March of 2016 and served the remainder of that term, which was nine months. Uh, I was sworn in actually on March 9th of 2016, and then we were just sworn into a full term uh, two weeks ago. The new role is very interesting in that you find that you are um, exposed to a lot of issues that you otherwise would not think of, and you find that you know a little about a lot of things. Uh, for instance, you know, transportation issues uh, as they affect Peabody and the North Shore, but uh, other times people will call uh, with, with issues that uh, they're confronted with. The one that we deal with the most here, uh, surprisingly, is housing. And it's not just uh, people who are at the lower end of the uh, economic scale. We have people who are retirees who've sold their homes and thought that they could live in uh, an apartment setting and find that the rents are increasing uh, significantly more than their fixed income. So they find that they need alternatives. So that is an issue that surprised me a little bit at, at how, how serious it is uh, across all demographics. The issue at the State House that probably takes precedence is the budget. And when we came in back in March, the budget process was already in motion. And then, you know, late spring, we adopted a budget of uh, roughly $39 billion. And the things that are most important to almost every legislator um, include local aid, which we were able to increase 4% uh, over the year before in school aid, Chapter 70 money, and we were able to increase the per pupil amount that we were uh, dedicating to every student in the Commonwealth. Those take precedent. Everybody wants to make sure that uh, their, their communities are protected and well served and uh, always fighting for every dollar we can to uh, put towards education. My goals this year, obviously, again, will be uh, budget items, but we've been working for the past several months on trying to locate a registry either a registry of motor vehicles, either in the city of Peabody or nearby, because North Shore residents right now are underserved. Uh, you may recall that the city council adopted uh, uh, language for 20 more liquor licenses that they're asking the legislature to approve, so we are working on that. Uh, we'll work with Representative Speliotis and Senator Lovely as well, who will be helpful to us in, in moving that forward. Um, I also have a bill that I, I co-sponsored with Senator Lovely that would create a database for um, overdoses of opioid, opioid overdoses I should say. We have a couple other smaller bills but uh, no less important. One we're filing would be um, to increase the surchargeable amount when you're in an accident. Currently if you cause more than $500 worth of damage and you're at fault, you are surcharged. What we're hoping to do is increase that to $1,500. We are working with um, some police officers in establishing a Blue Star license plate, which would be afforded or availed to families um, who've lost a police officer in the line of duty. I guess my favorite part of the job is the people who come to visit. We've had some great tours. We were fortunate to have Dean Healy and members of the Chamber of Commerce come in and visit, and we went on tour with them. I had never taken a tour of the State House, so uh, we walked with them, Andrew and I, and it was really interesting because you get bits and pieces of this building that you know you come into every day and maybe take for granted, and it was really fun to understand some of the history behind that. We also had a group of uh, Cub Scouts who were just establishing their troop, and we were able to present them with the Massachusetts flag and uh, show them around a little bit, and that, that was a lot of fun. And it's nice to expose young people to this state house and to understand what state government's about and hopefully someday they'll want to serve as well. There is no such thing as a normal day in the legislature. Every day when I walk through the door, uh, I'm not quite sure what we'll face. You know, we, we have our plans, we know we have some committee hearings, we know some of the priorities that we'll be working on, but when the phone rings um, and somebody has an issue that needs to be addressed, um, we have to jump into action. But that's the fun of the job as well, is every day is different. Every day is challenging, and uh, I don't think I would want, I want a normal day where I knew from 9 to 5 this is exactly what I was going to be doing. Um, again, it's, it's, uh, it's whatever 
is before us. In some respects, it's the headlines of the day and that sometimes drives the calls that we get. Um, and then it's, it's people's needs. As you know, I'm completing my term on the city council. Um, I was elected, re-elected to the council in 2015. And the race to fill the unexpired term of a state representative had already begun. So I was committed to running for the city council when this opportunity presented itself. I had made the commitment to serve on the city council and feel very um, strongly that I need to fulfill that commitment, which means that my term will expire the end of December of 2017 and I have every intention of completing that term. But also having served on the city council, you have a perspective um, when you come to the legislature on what is needed and what's important for your, your own municipality, your own district. I like being the state representative from Peabody. Uh, first of all, it's my hometown. I'm a lifelong resident of Peabody. It's been fun to watch the city grow and the people grow. You know, when I was growing up, we had a lot of leather factories. It was kind of the tail end of the leather industry. I look at where Remus Leather once was, and that's where Stonewood Tavern now is. So that's just one little transition of a leather manufacturing city to uh, something other than that, light industry. You look at Centennial Park, that's where we skated when we were kids. But we've watched the transformation of the city and it's grown into something that's um, a nice balance between residential and uh, light industrial. I'd just like to say thank you to everybody for watching and uh, tuning in and, and actually spending a couple minutes and, and hopefully learning a little bit about the legislature and what we do. And also just to remind everybody again that uh, we are accessible. Again, the phone number is 617-722-2676 and email is thomas.walsh at mahouse.gov. And uh, I'm around town a lot. You'll find me every other Thursday at least at the city council meetings and uh, I try to be as accessible as I can. We also um, hold office hours uh, fairly frequently and uh, try to get that out to people as well so they, they know I'm around. And uh, if anybody has any concerns, we're here to help.